what's up guys welcome to today's video we are going to be talking about the full moon lunar eclipse that is taking place on january 10th there are an insane amount of astrological events that are taking place in 2020 so my goal here is to try and keep this simple because astrology is very layered there's a lot to it you can't just look at one thing that's going on and get the full picture and it also can affect you personally in different ways depending on your own birth chart. I think a lot of people they get discouraged and uninterested for the fact that there's so much to it. It's like I well I don't have time you know to spend 10 hours researching what this all means. And we have a lot of retrogrades that are taking place in 2020. We have a conjunction of Saturn and Pluto happening on the 11th, the day after the eclipse, which is also going to be really impactful. But in this video, we're just going to stick to the eclipse. Now, eclipses for a long time were actually very feared by people because they do initiate a really big shift and a lot of changes. Eclipses are one of the more major events that take place. What's interesting about an eclipse is that you start to see the effects of it unravel in the six months after the eclipse. So this isn't like your typical full moon where it just comes and it goes and that's that. So first things first, an eclipse is when the sun, the moon, and the earth are all in alignment with one another. And for this full moon lunar eclipse, the moon is going to be in the sign of Cancer. I love Cancer, I am a Cancerian myself. But depending on which zodiac sign the moon is in, it tells a lot about the areas of our lives that are going to be affected. When we're talking about Cancer, this is our emotions, but it's also our relationships, our family, and our home life. That's what Cancer is all about. You can expect there to be some changes or maybe some obstacles that you need to work through in those areas of your life. Now the two weeks leading up to an eclipse, it's a very potent energy. So I would not be surprised if you have already kind of felt some crazy things going on. And you also might especially feel the intensity of it if you have cancer in your chart, if you are cancer, if your moon is in cancer, this is a big deal for you, but also if your sun is in cancer as well. And I have definitely been feeling this energy. I have been unusually sensitive, but that's the eclipse. Now let's talk about some of the feelings that you may be having or things you might be experiencing now and that you are gonna continue to experience while we go through this eclipse season. So you may be feeling unusually stressed out, anxious, overwhelmed, just like uneasy. This this strong urge of like, I have to make all these major life changes. This feeling of, I need to know what my next step is. I need to know what my life purpose is. I need to know what to do about this, this, and this. Instead of going into all the little details of what does it all mean, we're gonna just talk about, you know, what do eclipses do to us? What are we going to be feeling? What are we going to be experiencing? And what are we supposed to do about it? Because eclipses actually are a time of deep transformation. It brings unconscious, subconscious thoughts to the surface. So it could be things that maybe you haven't thought about in a while, or maybe things you've never thought about. All of a sudden, you're being like slapped in the face with all these different situations that you feel like you need to figure out what to do. The whole point of an eclipse is to almost kind of intervene and shake us up and then redirect us onto the path that is actually meant for us. That doesn't mean that all of a sudden we're gonna be placed on the path of our life's purpose and our soul's purpose and we're just gonna soar and you know live out our best life because that's not how it works. Yes, I personally believe that every single one of us has a specific divine purpose. I believe we were all put here for a specific reason. I don't believe that we are just like plopped on earth and it's like, all right, get a job, make some friends, like, and call it a day and then you die. 
that's really not what I believe we're here to do. I think that we all have a much bigger purpose. This is an ongoing cycle of learning and evolving and growing and making mistakes and bettering ourselves and becoming more aware, expanding our consciousness. You're being placed on the path that is meant for you right now at the time. And yes, it does play into your ultimate divine purpose. We're going to be redirected because we come here and yeah, we've got a purpose, but we have free will and we just start living and it, you know, it doesn't come with a manual like, okay, this is what your purpose is and this is how you get there. We are not always aware, uh, you know, we're normally not aware of what our purpose in life is. So we can totally get off track really easily without realizing that we're getting off track. This is supposed to place us back on track and kind of help us out and get us away from those situations and people and beliefs that we have and, and beliefs we have about ourselves. So what happens when this occurs is that you're going to maybe feel like a lot of things are falling apart because when things aren't meant for you or people aren't meant for you, jobs aren't meant for you. Well, if the universe is trying to redirect us back on our path, then there's going to be some damage involved here. Things are going to fall apart. Things are going to exit our life. Every single person, place, thing, job, whatever, not everything is meant to stay in our lives forever. A lot of things are in our lives for a season and a reason, right? So we're supposed to experience something, learn from it, learn a lesson, grow from it, but then it's supposed to leave our life. We have to make the decisions to end certain things or move away from certain things. So what can you expect to experience as a result of this eclipse? Letting go of aspects of yourself that you've outgrown and that aren't serving you anymore. A lot of letting go, changing the way we think, changing the people, places, and things we surround ourselves with. We have, you know, outgrown some of these things. And so we're really getting this push from the universe to let those things go. We have a hard time letting go <laughs> and moving on from things, especially when we're emotionally connected to something. And cancer is ruled by the moon, which is you know, feminine energy and feminine energy is that compassionate, that empathy, that, that very, um, sensitive, nurturing, you know, very, it's very emotional. The things that we have an emotional attachment to things we're emotionally invested in, those are the things that are going to come to the surface that we need to reevaluate and maybe change or let go of completely. This is also a time where you're going to be pushed out of your comfort zone. We're going to be urged by the universe to um, start to walk away from those safe places because staying safe is never going to get you where you want to be or need to be. It's really important that we are scared sometimes and pushed out of our comfort zone because that's where growth actually happens and that's where you overcome challenges and fears is by facing it. We don't want to just be comfortable and safe. You know, we, we should take risks. We should follow our soul's, you know, passion and fire and what, what we really want and what really makes us feel alive, not just things that make us feel safe because we're too afraid to see what's on the other side of the fear. This is also a time of evolution. This is kind of like ushering us into evolution. And so it can feel like things are moving really fast or that things are very drastic and, and dramatic. All of a sudden you're being faced with some pretty major decisions in your life and some things are being brought to the surface that you really have to face, that you maybe haven't faced, that you're not ready to face. With this being a deeply transformative time that can bring, you know, abrupt change. So it may feel like things are all hitting you at once. You do not need to feel pressured that you need to make all of these decisions right now. No one's asking you to do that. And the universe doesn't want you to make drastic, irrational decisions without actually thinking it through. But it is, you know, these things are going to come to the surface 
and kind of stare you in the face a little bit. But this is all part of the cosmic plan. You can kind of think of this as like a final purge. All the things that you really need to face, that you really need to deal with in order to be aligned with your soul's path and what's actually meant for you. And it's gonna kind of be a dramatic turning point. That's that evolution that I'm talking about. It's, you know, we're stepping up. We are being like upgraded. All of these things are being presented in front of us and now it's up to us to listen to our heart, listen to our intuition, pay attention and honor what it is that we really want, what's really good for us. If there's a situation in your life that's not healthy for you, that's not good for you, that is setting you back in your evolution, you know, expect that to be presented in front of you. And you really don't want to ignore it and you don't want to bury it deep down again back into your subconscious that's not going to get you forward that's only going to make it more difficult and the whole reason why all of these things are coming to the surface is because they are things that need our attention the universe is trying to say like hello you need to address these things this isn't meant for you all of our shadow aspects are going to kind of be highlighted you're going to have to take a really good look at yourself in the mirror and actually face yourself and maybe face some of the decisions you've made that haven't really been the best for you or things that are just no longer serving you and that are holding you back in life. However, this isn't bad and eclipses don't need to be feared. What you need to do is number one, you have to trust, trust in the divine plan, trust in the universe and realize that if there is something negative, something unhealthy, toxic, something weighing you down, something you holding you back from what you really want to do, realize that if it's being brought to the surface, it's because this is your chance to change things. Um, the eclipse is going to bring some faded events. And so faded events could mean that things are falling apart. In order for the things that are actually meant for us, and the things that are for our highest good, in order for those things to come in and manifest in our physical reality, the things that aren't serving you have to be removed because the universe has to make space. And that makes perfect sense. You know, if there is, a, if there's things that you want to do in life, but you have no time to do any of them because you've got all this other stuff going on that really isn't good for you, really doesn't serve you, really isn't helping you get to your highest potential and where you want to be, you know, you're out of space you, you're, or you're out of time. You don't have time to focus on the things that you actually want to be doing. This is a time of major self-discovery and that comes with those shadow aspects coming to the surface. This is such a transformative time use it to your advantage. The universe is actually trying to make me happy. It's actually trying to get me on the path that I want to be on, that's meant for me, that is for my highest good, that is going to help me evolve into the person that I am meant to be and that I deserve to be. You need to trust in that and remember that when it seems like things are falling apart. You know, if something is crumbling in front of you, let it crumble because if it was really meant for you it wouldn't be crumbling so it might seem like there's a lot of tower moments that are taking place and again this is going to be family friends you know relationships your emotions your home life anything that you are emotionally invested attached to there are some really powerful energies at work here it's very important to really own your emotions during this time don't let your emotions get the best of you I know that that's easier said than done. That's the eclipse, you know? Don't get all lost in your head freaking out. It's This is all part of the cosmic plan, you guys. This can be a beautiful time of transformation. And like I said, the universe will reward you. You will feel better and have a better life if you you know, face the things that are clearly coming up to the surface. They wouldn't be staring you directly in the face for no reason. This is a portal to a new life. And you can trust that this is all 
part of the divine plan and we are being redirected onto the path that is meant for us right now so that we can learn the things that we need to learn right now one day in the future maybe we'll look back at this time and and realize like oh wow everything has changed since then you look back and in hindsight that's when you realize like oh wow yeah like that time period was really crazy for me and i you know went through a divorce lost my job you know whatever like it's usually once we look back we realize like oh wow yeah okay the planets weren't lying this is all real with this being a feminine energy that we're going to be feeling from the moon we all have feminine energy inside of us we have masculine and feminine energy everything is you know positive negative light dark there's duality and everything so we all have feminine energy but our feminine energy is that more soft gentle compassionate but on the flip side okay the negative aspect of that is you know feminine energy can be needy and clingy and insecure and so you might be feeling some of that so be compassionate with yourself and with other people and don't be so hard on yourself my biggest piece of advice for all of this is when this eclipse happens on the 10th let the energy settle because again this isn't a light switch where an eclipse comes and then all of a sudden everything has changed no this is a gradual shift in energy and so you don't want to act on anything until you let that energy settle because it can be a little overwhelming in the beginning stages of all of this so give it a week or two weeks you'll know you know you'll know when you feel a little more emotionally stable you'll know give it a week or two to settle you are going to feel very rushed and panicked like you need to reevaluate everything and everything has to change and all these decisions have to be made you're gonna feel that way but that's just because it's this really intense and powerful energy that has now just come into our existence give it a minute to settle so that we can adjust so that the energy can balance out a little bit and that our energy and the energy from the moon and all of the planets they can all kind of come together balance out a little bit now honestly there is so much more that I could say about this eclipse and again the way the other planetary aspects are going to affect the eclipse and play a part into this but I will overwhelm you if I go too much in depth so the real point of this is because one of the reasons why I am so intrigued by astrology is because the energy from these planets, it really has such an effect on how we feel in our, on our energy. And I feel energy very intensely. I find it so intriguing that, you know, these changes and, you know, like a full moon, an eclipse, a retrograde, I find it so wild that it really actually can have such an effect on us. But again, if you educate yourself and if you just know the basics of what to expect, what's probably going to happen, then it makes everything so much easier to, to deal with and navigate through. And that's really my goal with teaching people about astrology is I want to, you know, enlighten people on what it does to us as humans and our emotions and our thought process and our and our physical body how we feel because it all does have an effect there's a lot going on a lot going on with our planets take a look at your birth chart there are a million free birth chart calculators on the internet just go into google birth chart calculator and see if you've got a cancer placement and where it is it's going to give you some more clues to the areas of your life that that might be affected and again if you do have a cancer moon even a cancer Sun you know, I encourage everyone to do this I'm not saying that you have to you know dig through your birth chart and learn what it all means no but there are tools that are out there for free on the internet apps on your phone that will do the work for you and give you a summary and break it down. I encourage people to do this with their, you know, their partner, your whoever you're in a romantic relationship with, your family, whoever. I mean, you can't always like go up to some random person at work and be like, hey, I need to see your birth chart. So what time were you born? Where were you born? You know, like, but the people that are really close to you, you can look at their birth chart and you can look at yours and theirs and it is so telling.
and so, so eye-opening. It will seriously help you. It is a tool that at this point, it's 2020, if you are not utilizing astrology, we need to be looking at these things because it is so, it's so real. And why would you not want to learn more about yourself? This is important <laughs> and it's useful. So that's it for this eclipse video. Thank you guys for being here with me. Good luck to everyone this eclipse season. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.